machine learning algorithms. Machine learning is a subset of AI that enables systems to learn and make predictions based on data. Typical steps in machine learning are data collection, model training, prediction and evaluation, and model improvement. Let's look at types of machine learning. Supervised learning. Here the model learns from labeled data. Unsupervised learning. Here the model finds patterns in unlabeled data. Reinforcement learning. Model learns through trial and error. Supervised learning algorithms. Linear regression. Predicts a continuous value based on input features. Example use case. Predicting salary based on years of experience. In a graph form, it is about finding a best fit line to represent relationship between two variables. Logistic regression is used for binary classification. An example use case would be classifying emails as work or personal. Decision trees, a flowchart like tree structure to make decisions. Example use case, customer buying decision. Let's say we want to predict whether someone will buy a product based on their age and income using a decision tree. We can use a decision tree for this. Support vector machines finds the optimal boundary for classification. Example use case, image classification. The decision boundary is a hyperplane that separates different classes in the feature space used to distinguish between classes in a classification problem. The closest points from each class to the decision boundary are called support vectors. The margin is determined by the distance of the support vectors to the hyperplane. The decision boundary depends directly on the support vectors. If they change, the boundary changes as well. So support vectors are data points that sit at the edge of the margin. Naive Bayes is used for classification tasks. It applies Bayes theorem to calculate the probability of different class labels based on the features of the data, assuming that the features are conditionally independent. Imagine you want to classify emails as spam or not spam. You use naive base to calculate the probability of an email being spam based on words it contains. K nearest neighbor or KNN classifies new data points by finding the k closest points in the training data and assigning the most common label among them to the new point. It is mainly used for classifications and sometimes regression. So k represents the number of closest data points or neighbors to include. In this case k is 3. So three closest data points are considered and the most common label amongst these three data points is assigned to the new data point or it is simply the average of its k nearest neighbors. Here's an example where value of k is 5. So in this example, the new data point in red is likely a fish because that's the majority among 5 nearest neighbors. And here's a regression example. The value of new data point for a k value 3 is average of 3 nearest neighbors so that is average of 14, 10 and 6, which is 10. Let's look at unsupervised learning algorithms now. K means clustering. Groups data points into clusters based on similarity. Example use case, market segmentation in retail. And here are some data points. And this is how we have grouped them. K is a hyperparameter and stands for number of clusters that we are looking for. Here is a visualization of k-means clustering. Points are scattered across the screen. Centroids start in random positions and move iteratively towards their cluster centers. Dimensionality reduction. Reduce the number of features or dimensions in a data set while preserving as much of the relevant information as possible. Dimensionality reduction is useful for simplifying models reducing computation time, visualizing high dimensional data and minimizing the risk of overfitting. Now there are two main types of dimensionality reduction techniques. Feature selection that is keeping only the most important features and feature extraction that is creating new features from existing ones. And here's a quick example where we remove redundant features. 
principal component analysis here we reduce data dimensionality while preserving variance example use case reducing features for image data let's learn about reinforcement learning algorithms q learning a model free algorithm that learns the value of actions example use case game ai such as training agents in video games q learning is a model free algorithm where the agent learns a value that is q value for each action in each state it updates the q values based on rewards received and aims to learn an optimal action value function use cases grid world tasks robotics simple games deep q networks combines q learning with deep learning for complex environments example use case robotics and autonomous driving deep q network combines q learning with deep neural networks enabling the agent to approximate q values for large and continuous state spaces use case video games robotic control and complex environments now that we have covered supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning algorithms let's look at ensemble methods where we combine multiple models to improve accuracy random forest uses multiple decision trees to make predictions example use case medical diagnosis it is an ensemble method that builds multiple decision trees using random subsets of data and features for classification it uses majority voting across trees and for regression it averages their predictions this randomness reduces overfitting and improves accuracy gradient boosting sequentially corrects errors of previous models example use case predicting customer churn an ensemble technique that builds decision trees sequentially with each tree correcting the errors of the previous ones it optimizes predictions by minimizing a loss function using gradient descent the final model is weighted sum of all trees making it powerful for both classification and regression xg boost is a high performance implementation of gradient boosting that uses decision trees it optimizes speed and accuracy with features like parallel processing regularization to prevent overfitting and efficient handling of sparse data making it ideal for large scale tasks stacking combines multiple heterogeneous base models using a meta model to improve overall prediction accuracy by learning how to best aggregate their predictions using diverse models reduces bias and variance it can often outperform single models and is effective in cases where no single model performs the best however this can be computationally expensive so that was a quick overview of important machine learning algorithms